Nvidia has become one of the largest companies in the world, surpassing giants like Amazon, Google, and most recently even Apple, thanks to the explosion of AI chip demand. But with success comes competition. AMD and Intel are gearing up to challenge Nvidia's reign. Ready to find out what they announced at the recent Computex event? Let's get started. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. But before we dive into the recent announcements, let's understand what's fueling the AI market frenzy. The AI race has led to a skyrocketing demand for specialized AI chips like NVIDIA's H100 and H200, essential for training and running AI models. Unlike traditional CPUs, which are designed for general tasks, AI chips excel at parallel processing, making them perfect for handling vast amount of data. Now, the AI race is a fierce competition among tech giants to develop and deploy the most advanced artificial intelligence technologies. This race is driving unprecedented demand for AI chips. Leading this race are tech giants like OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, Meta, Tesla, Adobe, and several healthcare companies, each pushing the boundaries of AI with innovative solutions that demand powerful chips. OpenAI, for instance, is at the forefront of developing large language models like GPT-4, which require massive computational power. Microsoft has integrated AI into its cloud platform, offering AI services to businesses worldwide and even into the consumer PCs with the 365 AI co-pilots. Google is leveraging AI across its services from search to self-driving cars through Waymo. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, is using AI to enhance social media experience and develop the metaverse. Tesla is pushing the boundaries of autonomous driving with its AI-powered vehicles. Adobe is revolutionizing creative software with AI features that simplify and enhance content creation. In healthcare, companies are using AI for drug discovery, personalized medicine, and improving patient outcomes. So a quick summary of key factors driving demand. Increase AI adoption. The widespread adoption of AI across industries, including healthcare, finance, and automotive, has driven the need for more powerful and efficient AI chips. Generative AI. The development of generative AI models, such as OpenAI's ChatGPT, requires substantial computational resources, further increasing the demand for high performance chips. Finally, technological advancements. Continuous improvements in AI algorithm and applications necessitate more advanced and specialized chips. Thank you all for the crazy support. So if you haven't and are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Finally, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, make sure to check out my special offer at fool.com slash Jose. Now back to today's episode. Now let's talk about the giant monster in the room, NVIDIA. If you're an AI company and not using NVIDIA solutions, are you even an AI company? NVIDIA's sales have exploded. In its most recent earnings report, NVIDIA reported $22 billion in data center sales alone, a staggering 400% increase from the previous year, primarily driven by AI. To put into perspective, AMD reported $2.3 billion and Intel $3 billion in sales, and both of them mainly from CPUs, which are not ideal for heavy AI workloads. We can now see why these tech giants want to compete with NVIDIA in the AI chip market. The money is flowing, and to be fair, both of the companies do already compete, even if their sales say otherwise. AMD recently announced the MI300X, claiming it as a great performance alternative to NVIDIA's H100, while Intel offers the Gaudi 2 as a cost-effective option. Both companies shared new solutions and roadmap at Computex X, and today we're focusing only on their AI accelerator, starting with AMD. CEO Lisa Su mentioned that the MI300X is AMD's fastest ramping product adopted by major cloud players like Microsoft, Oracle, and Meta. Their software improvements in the Rockham stack have made the MI300X 30% faster than the H100 for token generation throughput on Meta's Llama 3 70 billion parameter and 20% faster on Mistral's 7 billion parameter LLM. AMD also shared its upcoming roadmap. More importantly, it will do a new product on a yearly cadence, very similar to what NVIDIA announced in late 2023. Later this year, AMD will release the MI325X, 
a beefier version of the MI300X with more memory, which should increase its inference and training performance for very large, large language models. In 2025, the MI350X will feature a new cDNA4 architecture, and in 2026, the MI400X with cDNA X architecture. The MI325X and MI350X will maintain the same board setup as the MI300X, ensuring easy adoption by customers. The MI325X will use HBM3E memory with up to 288 gigs, nearly two times the H200, have, and it has 1.3 times the performance in FP16 and FP8. Innate Unirec is able to run trillion parameter large language models, two times that of the H200, mainly thanks to the memory capacity. The MI325X is expected to be released the fourth quarter of this year. The MI350X is going to be their largest leap in technology, building using 3 nanometer process technology. Expected to be released in 2025 and using next generation cDNA4 architecture with support for FP4 and FP6 data types, something NVIDIA is also working on. CDNA4 is expected to be 35 times faster in inference than CDNA3, 1.5 times more memory capacity than the B200, and 1.2 times more AI performance than the Blackwell. AMD also announced networking solutions to help create superclusters of AI accelerators. Ultra Accelerator Link is an open source networking solution worked on by various companies from AMD, Intel, Meta, and many others. The reason this is open source is because it will allow the superclusters of any type of accelerators, not just GPUs. So tech companies developing their own AI accelerators are also ones that can win in this future adoption. Intel also had a Computex keynote showcasing its AI accelerator, Gaudi 2, and upcoming Gaudi 3. May I say, AMD definitely seems to have a better show, but nonetheless, one of the key points of Gaudi versus Nvidia is the price. A kit containing eight times Gaudi 2 costs $65,000 compared to reports of a single H100 costing about 20 to 40,000. A Gaudi 3 AI kit containing eight Gaudi 3s is only $125,000. The Intel Gaudi 3 will have 40% faster time to train on models like GPT-3 with their 175 billion parameter versus 8,000 accelerator clusters of H100 and two times faster in inference. The selling point for Intel's Gaudi solutions are cheap, great performance, and highly scalable. Very similar to AMD, Intel discussed the open source networking solutions, Ultra Ethernet Consortium, and Ultra Accelerator Link, which will improve the cluster size of these and future alternatives. So we have seen how the AI chip market is heating up with Nvidia, AMD, and Intel, all eyeing for dominance. The advancements and announcements from these tech giants are shaping the future of AI technology. And if you found this video informative, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates and deep dives into the tech world. Leave a comment below on which company you think will come up on top and why. See you in the next video. And let me just say, I think Nvidia will continue to hold the crown.